Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look for Halloween. It's a lion queen or a lioness, whichever you prefer to call her. I wanted to create this look, one, because it's super easy, two, you can do this both ways. You can just either leave it at the glam side of it or add the gory, gross bloodiness to it it's because, I mean, it's Halloween and you should be gory, gross, and bloody. But if you just want the glam side of it, you can leave it at that and be a lioness for the night. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. But before you do that, hit the pause button and hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm starting off this look by priming and adding foundation just to cut the time down a little bit as my base. Then going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. But right now I'm only putting it from my brow bone to my crease. We will add it to the lid later on. I just don't want it to cake up. And I'm just buffing it out with this Morphe brush and then setting it down with a translucent powder. Taking the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going in with this light brown shade. This is going to be our first transition shade, and I'm putting it way above the crease because I'm going to add those gems later on, and I need enough room so that we can still open and close our eyes comfortably. And I'm just kind of mapping out where I want the cut crease to go. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to clean it up. Taking this really deep plum shade from that same palette, I'm going to take a small amount of this and we're going to start to map out where we want our cut crease to go. So we're going to bring it towards the very inner part of the eye and then bring it all the way outward. And I'm kind of just winging it out here. It doesn't have to be perfect like I said before because we are going to clean it up if you don't like the shape of it. But just keep blending it out. Now I'm going to take the black shade on this Sonia Kashuk brush. I don't know the name, it's just a flat definer brush. And this is where we're really going to start to define the cut crease. So I mostly just place it in the middle and outer part, but I am going to blend it out and then we'll add more as we go. This is the whole process of doing a cut crease. You want to make sure you're blending as you go and make sure you're blending upwards. And that's what I'm doing with this Morphe brush. I'm just buffing the color out because we want the colors to look blended and seamless as it fades to the darkest part of the cut crease. Same thing here, I'm just keep on blending. Um, even though it is a cut crease and it's gonna look sharp, you still want to blend the shades out. So I'm just going back in with that Sonia Kashuk brush to define and deepen up the cut crease a little bit more. And now we're taking the Tarte Shape Tape to clean up the crease and make it more cut. And also just adding a nice base for our lid shades to go on to. And having that nice light base under the cut crease is really going to make the cut crease pop even more. Now I'm taking these little gems that I actually just got from Walmart and we're taking the smallest size and I'm going to put a uh, lash glue down first just so it gets tacky as we're adding the gems to it. This will help it stick better so you don't have to sit there and wait each time for the glue to get tacky and then we're just going to start popping on the gems. So here I'm just popping the gems onto the glue. They stick right on. This was super easy to do. And yeah, just make sure the glue is tacky and then just pop them on and you'll be good to go. 
So I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kathleen Lights. It's a copper shade. Um, this was the shade I was originally going to use, but I didn't like it on its own, which is why I'm going to add another shade over it, which you'll see in a minute. But I kind of like that I put it underneath because the copper shows through the other shade. So this is the shade Midnight. It's also from the Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. Um, this one's like a green, but it has like flecks of gold in it. I don't know. It's super pretty. I kind of forgot that I had this laying around, but it really just mixed well with that other shade underneath. You don't have to use both shades, but if you can see on my other eye, you can kind of see the copper pulling through. Now I'm just taking a small detailed brush and I'm winging the shadow out. I didn't want to do winged liner for this because I didn't know if it would just take away from the shadow or be too much, but feel free to add wing liner if you want, but I wanted to at least wing the shadow out just so it flows nicely with the cut crease. I'm going to line my lash line with the NYC liquid liner. Any black liquid or gel liner will do. If you want to add the wing, now's the time to do it. And then I'm just going to take this Lancôme mascara in Monsieur Big and pop that on. And I'm going to use these Eyelore lashes. They're a little bit more dramatic than what I normally go for, but it's Halloween, so the bigger the better. And now I'm going to start highlighting and um, concealing my face with Tarte Shape Tape because the coverage on it is just the best. I'm So I'm going to set those highlighted areas with the RCMA No Color Powder. Now taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to line my uh, lower lash line. And this is going to make our eyes pop and appear bigger. So I'm also taking this cream color from the CC Beauty palette. I got this off of Amazon. It's like a dupe for the Makeup Forever Flash palette. And I'm going to make my lower lash line appear larger by doing this. So I'm going to outline that white with the black. This will be where our actual lash line is supposed to end. If you notice, the white looks really thick here, and then in the next clip, it's smaller. I didn't like how big it was, so I wiped it off and redid that. But just um, put the white down and outline it with the black. I'm going to start bronzing up my skin with this Becca bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer and I'm going a little crazy with it. And I'm also going to contour with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Don't be afraid with to go like harder with the bronzer and the contour because one, it's Halloween. Two, you're supposed to be a lion. So the more contour, the better. It's just going to help shape the face out a little bit more. And here I'm contouring my nose. Normally I bring the nose contour closer together to make my nose appear thinner, but this time I'm putting it farther outward so that it's shaped more like a lion so it looks wider. So I thought it would be appropriate to use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter for this because it's Halloween and you can get away with wearing it if it's too much for you and it just ties in with the theme. But I'm also going to brighten it up a little bit more with Fuego from Dose of Colors Desi X Kitty collection and I'm highlighting my forehead and nose with this too. For blush today I'm going to use this blush from Sephora. Um, I've used it like a million times on my channel. And then I'm going to start um, making the nose of the lion. So down the center of my cupid's bow, I'm adding the black and then connecting it up to the tip of my nose. And I'm just using black gel liner for this. You can use any gel liner or black paint to do this. And here I'm just adding little dots of where the whiskers would go. Here I'm just taking that cream color palette again, the CC Beauty one, and I'm just taking the white, the yellow, and the brown, and I'm just going to extend the brows out to make them appear thicker and more lion-like. I'm 
I'm just going to take this black liquid lipstick from MAC and I'm going to put that on my upper lip. Um, you can also use paint for this if you don't have a black liquid lipstick. And then I'm taking this gold liquid lipstick from Ofra. I don't know if this is available anymore, so just use like gold paint or cream color. Now for the neck, I'm going to take this Graftovium powdered metal. I mixed it with Inglot Duraline to make it stick and uh, make it a liquid because it does come in a powdered form and I'm just adding that to my neck. Now we're going to start creating the cuts with Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. So I was out of frame for the first one, of course, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> but you're going to see what I did in the next clip. I just basically warmed the product up between my fingers first, then um, almost making it in like a ball shape. And then I placed it down and started spreading it out with a scalpel. So here you can see I'm just putting it on, pressing it down, and then I'll start spreading the product outward to make it blend into the skin better. Once I have the product down where I want it to go, then I just cut a line down the center of it. I'm sorry, I really kept going out of frame. I swear in my viewfinder I was perfectly in frame, but for some reason it's not showing on here. I'm just going to keep repeating this process till I have four cuts. Now I'm just going to take a foundation and start covering those up because obviously the color was too light for my skin tone. And then I'm going to take Ben Nye Thick Blood and start putting the blood in between the cuts. And here I'm just going to add like chunks of the blood in between the cuts to make it more realistic looking. And then I'll just add it around the cut and kind of all over my chest. So here I'm kind of just spreading the blood around to make it really look like we were in a rough battle. Because we're a fierce line queen, obviously. And here I'm just taking this really dense brush to kind of make it look like the blood splattered. If you want, you can take a more liquid blood and actually splatter the blood on. Um, I just couldn't find my regular blood, so I only had the thick blood. Now I'm taking navy blue eyeshadows and black and adding it around the cuts to make it more like bruised and gross and infected looking and then I'll add some more like blood on top of that just so it blends better. So that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be posting at least one or two more Halloween tutorials so be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified when I do post those and don't forget to follow me on my other forms of social media and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> the tutorial, I hope you tutorial. Tutorial. Oh my god, I literally can't say tutorial. 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 You're like, uh, I need to wear a lock on what? Three, four, eight, four, eight, what's to dry in order to talk or else the lock is gonna get on the gold and the gold's gonna get on the lock.